Hey everybody, now here's the piece of resistance. I don't even know what that means. It just means it's real cool crap. <laughs> <laughs> what we got here, we got the female lavender. She's not a lavender glow. She has no hypo in her. This is this is the epitome of the freak that popped out. She was the only one without the hypo. She has the two brothers and the one sister that we call the lavender glows that have a dose of the orange tail hypo in them too. As a matter of fact, the little guy in with her is the lavender glow. He is the best. He has the most lavender on him. She's obviously just, this is just, there's no other pair of snakes in the world like this. I'm going to give you guys just a quick, just a quick shot from head down of this girl only because I've seen this girl from the day she was born. This thing's got one of the most craziest, just intense colorations, just from purple to just all oh, kind. I mean, look at the head. Look at the head on this thing. Almost like a sherbet orange. I mean, look at reddish. that. Dude, it's... But then you go from that head, you go right down the body, just color, 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 and then it just goes to all this craziness, all this weird pattern stuff. I mean... I've liked this animal from the get-go, man, and it's been nothing but cool. It's almost like a camouflage albino. Just really wild looking. That's a crazy term because it's not black and green and brown. <laughs> no, it's just the way the the way the the colors and the patterns just you hit. It's just boom, boom, real, real, boom. real unique looking. So what what we're what I'm doing here is the hopes are that these guys uh, uh, reproduce together, and the hopes are that we'll, we'll see we'll see if we get an entire batch of lavender animals, if we get animals that are many times better than both of them. Don't know how this gene is working. This this was a like I said a freak litter. Uh, not that it, they weren't, it wasn't a freak letter. I did the breeding on purpose, and it, it was amazing that I took a male that was a nephew to uh, the female that I bred it to. Obviously, that was his aunt. Uh, it was a regular, good old fashioned, run of the mill male, potential dominant sun glow. You know, had all the white on it and everything else. Just figure out, go, when am I going to breed her to? I threw it in there, and, and I was blessed with four of these just incredible animals that was back in 2010 now we're three years later obviously you, you know what you're looking at is a a, a four foot freedom breeder uh, she's she's ready to go he's uh, he's in there let's hope that uh, we get some stuff that's just utterly extraordinary uh, for those of you looking for investments believe me this is uh, when you can literally take something and add a brand new paint job you can paint everything that already exists. So there's there's obviously zero dead end to this whole situation. Somebody's getting out. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a little shift in here real quick. No problem. Go. But there you go. I mean, this is this is a situation where uh, a video is worth not even a thousand words it's many many times more I mean, this is these are living animals this is just extraordinary some might think well, why do you have her on the bottom level isn't that kind of disrespectful not really this this is where these kids were born <laughs> so let's hope that lightning strikes twice I haven't been hit by lightning well I've been hit by lightning with this once I, I really want to just get blown away Gonna have to call Frank at work and say, Dude, you just need to take the rest of the day off and get the hell over here and tell me what's going on. But uh, th this is a, uh, and by the way, the lavender glow animals that are in there, since both the mother was just a double hat uh, for sun glow and the father was uh, a, he was a potential dominant sun glow in his own right. Obviously, he wasn't, didn't prove out dominant or else the lavender female herself would be a lavender glow with a dose of orange cell hypo but uh, he himself since both parents had hypo and he's a potential dominant so it'd be interesting if yeah there, there could be an entire litter from this of lavender glow babies 
We will definitely let you know what happens. Uh, we're literally at the very beginning. These guys have just been together for like two days. Uh, you know, it's only November 13th today. We may, may not even see results for, you know, June, July. But we're just keeping our fingers crossed that we see some results. So, there you go. Both Lavender Glow male to the Lavender female. Some like one, some like the other. I'm lucky enough to love both because I own them. Which one do you like, Frank? I'm going with the girl. She's amazing, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right, I've the, always the, liked her, man. The, the the hypo the hypo added a hell of a lot of yellow to him. Don't get me wrong, the boy's no dog. No, but she she just in her own right. Uh, she's just without it is just you know just something else. Very very happy that uh, I am I'm able to work with these animals and hopefully I can uh, make them and get them out to the rest of you guys that love both.